Welcome to CBS This Morning. An American spy satellite may help solve the mystery of what caused a Russian airliner to crash. CBS News has learned the satellite detected a flash of heat over Egypt's Sinai Peninsula Saturday when the jetliner vanished from radar. Wreckage is spread over miles, indicating the plane broke apart at a high altitude. Investigators today will begin analysis of the aircraft's data and voice recorders. They could shed light on what brought down the Airbus 23 minutes after takeoff from Sharm el Sheikh, killing all 224 people aboard. Alan Pizzi is in Cairo with new details on the investigation. Alan, good morning. Good morning. The plane's owners insist it wasn't their fault. Russian officials are saying it's inappropriate to link the crash to Moscow's military actions in Syria, and the hunt for clues grinds on. The puzzle of what caused the crash got a new piece with the detection of the heat flash by the U.S. infrared satellite. If the flash was from the plane, analysts say it could have been caused by an explosion in a fuel tank or engine as a result of mechanical failure. But a bomb still cannot be ruled out, according to U.S. Director of National Intelligence James Clapper. Well, we don't have any uh, direct evidence of any um, terrorist involvement yet. Uh, how do you In an exclusive interview with the BBC, Egyptian President Abdul Fattah El Sisi dismissed claims by an ISIS affiliate that it brought down the plane as propaganda. This is one way to damage the stability and security of Egypt and the image of Egypt, he said. The definitive answer probably lies in the black boxes, the cockpit voice and flight data recorders, which are described as being in good condition. Analysis of them is scheduled to begin today here in Egypt. Russian search officials said emergency services units started the third stage of the desert operation, expanding the area to 12 square miles. Even as they gather evidence and passengers' belongings, another plane carrying back bodies arrived in St. Petersburg, the ill-fated airliner's scheduled final destination. Officials there said at least 10 bodies have been identified, but warned that the process of identifying all the victims could take several weeks. Here in Egypt, the U.S. Embassy has extended its travel ban for staffers in the Sinai Peninsula to include the previously permitted resort of Sharm el Sheikh. They say it's a precautionary measure until the outcome of the investigation is known. Gail? Alan Pizzi in Cairo, thank you.